Welcome to exciting presentations on your iPad. This movie is designed to take you through the process of do-it-yourself presentations. By the way, this movie will look better in landscape rather than portrait. Don't worry if you get lost. Be happy instead. Tap home, then Safari, and search for this movie in YouTube. In case you need to search for it, it's called Apple Leaders the 30th of November. On your iPad, you will need these apps for this DIY workshop. Keynote and iMovie. We will start with Keynote for making our presentation, then take some photos in Photo Booth. Next, we will film some short movie clips in iMovie. Finally, we will use these assets to make a three-slide presentation in Keynote. So let's begin. On the home screen, tap Keynote. Tap the plus icon to create a presentation. Tap on the theme of your choice, such as black. Tap twice on the default text double tap. Type your own words such as World Teacher's Day. The shorter, the better. If you want to make changes, then you will need to select the text first. Tap the text, and drag the blue dot at the end of the blue highlight until all that you want to edit, is selected. Now you can change font, size and color. Tap the paintbrush to see font options such as bold, italic, and paragraph style. Tap the font LV ticker to change the size. Tap font LV ticker again, to change to another font such as Georgia. Tap color to change font color, so that the title is a different font, and color. Tap plus at the top to access photos. If you see an access message, then tap OK. When photos appears, tap camera roll. You will see the photos on your iPad. If the default photo is highlighted with blue handles in the corners, then when you tap one of your camera roll photos, it will replace the default photo. Tap slide one in the top left corner to select it. To add another slide, tap the plus on the bottom. Choose a slide format, such as some text with a photo. Double tap the title, and type your own, such as message. Double tap the dot point ready to add your own text, such as the sentence about World Teacher's Day. Tap home to get ready to take a photo. Tap photo booth to open it. Choose an effect such as light tunnel. Adjust the iPad, so that your face is in the middle. When you are ready, look at the camera which is in the middle on the opposite side to home and then tap the camera. When your photo is taken, it will appear at the bottom. If you don't like it, then tap the X to delete it. If you like it, then leave it for the camera roll. To go back to Keynote, tap Home, tap Keynote, and it should open at slide 2. Tap the default photo to select. Tap the plus at the top to select photos. Tap the camera roll, skim the photos, and then tap the photo booth photo. It should replace the default photo. To add another slide, tap slide 2 to select it. Next, tap the plus at the bottom. Choose a slide format such as title only. Double tap the title, and type your own, such as in conclusion. Next, we will make a short movie. Tap home, and then tap iMovie. Tap the plus at the bottom for a new movie. Tap new project for your new movie. If you get an access message, tap OK. Anytime you are not sure about something, tap the question mark in the middle at the top and help messages will appear. Tap the question mark again to remove the help messages. To start filming, tap the camera on the right. If the camera is not looking at you, then tap the swap camera icon at the bottom on the right. Check that the slider is on movie camera. Before filming, adjust the iPad so that your eyes are about one third down from the top. You are going to film yourself reading another sentence, such as about World Teacher's Day. Position your iPad on the right and your paper on the left next to the iPad to maximize how you will look on film. Tap the red camera to start filming, and again when you want to stop. Next, there is the choice between retake on the left or use on the right to keep the filming. If use, it will appear at the bottom in the timeline. Tap the photos icon to access photos. Choose a photo from the menu. In this example, it will be Abby Foil Trees. Next, click on the photo to insert in your movie. It will appear down the bottom after your filming, and after the red playhead which shows what part of the film is being played. To make a voice recording, tap the microphone on the right. You are going to record yourself reading a sentence, such as about World Teacher's Day. When you are ready, tap record. It will count you in, and then you start reading. While you are recording, try to check the green recording level, so that it's loud enough. When you are finished, tap stop. Once again, you have choices such as accept. If accept, your voice track will show in purple under your film track. You can edit out the no speaking at the end. Tap the voice track once to get a yellow handle at the end. Drag it back to the last of the audio waves. Next, you can edit the length of the photo to suit the voice track. Tap the photo to get the yellow handle, and then drag the handle to align with the end of the voice track. 
to add titles and background sound. Tap the first clip once to get the yellow handles. Next, tap the gear in the top right. Choose a project setting such as neon. Back to the clip, and double tap to get clip settings. Tap opening, and then replace the default text with your title, such as teaching. To add a title to the second voice track clip, tap the clip to select. Next, double tap to get title style, and then tap middle. Replace the default text with your own, such as valued and respected profession. For background music, Tap the gear in the top right. Next, to turn on theme music, tap on. To save your movie, tap the star in the middle at the top. iMovie gives you a default title. Tap the default words, and then delete them, and type in your own such as teaching. The shorter, the better. To use your movie in your presentation, tap the arrow out of the box in the middle. Choose a way to share your movie such as camera roll. Choose an export size such as large. An exporting progress will show. When exported message shows, tap OK. Tap Home to exit iMovie. Tap Keynote to return to slide 3. Tap the plus to access media, and then tap Camera Roll. Your movie will be the one with a tiny movie camera in the bottom left corner. Tap this movie to see a Choose Video window. Tap Use to get the movie into your presentation. You can drag the movie into the center of the slide, so that a yellow positioning line appears. You can drag the blue corner handle to resize the movie. To have a transition between slides, tap the first slide to select. Tap the spanner in the top right to access tools. In the tools menu, tap transitions and builds. If you get a transitions message, this explains how to start. Then tap OK. Tap the plus for the first slide. Choose a transition, such as color panes. Repeat for slide 2. First, tap slide 2 to select. Tap the plus to access transitions. Choose a transition such as confetti. To save your presentation, tap Presentations in the top left. To rename your presentation, tap the actual word Presentation. In the blank renaming space, type your own such as Apple Leaders the 30th of November then tap Done. Your presentation should appear renamed in the top left. Good luck!